Hi, I'm George Makers, the Product Marketing Manager for Corsair Link. With me is Aaron Neal, our Engineering Program Manager. If you recognize me, it's because I've been showing Corsair Link at different events over the past several months, and you might have seen me in videos on the tech blogs. I'm pretty excited because we've announced the first two Corsair Link kits. And if you haven't seen the coverage of Corsair Link, it's a modular hardware and software system that allows you to monitor and control your PC's cooling and lighting in a way that just hasn't been possible before. Each kit lets you get started right away with monitoring and control, but you get even more control when you connect to components that have a Corsair Link interface. I'll explain more about that in a bit, but let's show what comes in the kit. The cooling kit includes the Corsair Link Commander, a Corsair Link cooling node, and the Corsair Link dashboard software. The cooling and lighting kit adds a Corsair Link lighting node and three LED light strips. If you start with just the cooling kit, you can add the lighting node separately. And of course, you can add additional LED strips. Corsair Link Commander is the heart of the system. It's the interface between Corsair Link and your PC. It's mounted in any available 3.5 inch drive bay and communicates with your PC via an internal USB header. The Corsair Link cooling node connects to Corsair Link Commander. It has five fan control terminals and four sensor terminals. It includes three temperature sensors for measuring heat at different points in your PC case. The lighting node also connects to Corsair Link Commander. It has two lighting channels, each of which can control up to 33 LED strips. George mentioned Corsair Link Dashboard. It's the software that gives you control of the hardware. I'll give a quick demonstration. The H80 and Airflow Pro have Corsair Link digital connectors, so we can use the dashboard to get performance information and control them. And this is Corsair Link Dashboard. Each item shown on the screen represents information from the various hardware components installed in your system. They can be custom configured to represent your specific system layout by drag and dropping items around the case. In this example, we are using a 600T case. To set up a device, you can either double click the item or right click and choose configure device. The next tab shows a list of groups that can have certain hardware associated with it for even greater control. For this demo, we will be setting up the CPU fans and LED lighting to be temperature controlled. By adding the CPU fan device to the CPU1 temp group, we can set up a custom profile based on the temperature of the CPU. Adding the LED light items to the GPU temperature group allows them to be controlled by temperature as well. With this setup, when you run a graphic or CPU intensive application, the fan speed and lighting will change based upon your custom configuration. When we run a graphics benchmark program, the lighting in the case will change from white to blue and then red as the GPU heats up. The CPU fans will increase in speed from their relatively quiet settings to the maximum performance keeping the CPU cool during heavy use. All of the data can be reviewed in real time using the chart function with data logging supported as well. We hope that this quick demo has given you a good idea of the power and flexibility of Corsair Link. If you have any questions, we'd love to answer them. Here's how to get in touch with us.